G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have another composite tutorial for you. Um, we're going to start off with this forest photo and we're going to do sort of a fantasy night dragon photo. So let's click on our forest layer here and the first thing that we are going to add is a foreground. So I've got this picture of a foreground here which I'm just going to stretch all the way out and just drop it into this picture. And on this foreground picture, I'm just going to add a mask. Use my gradient tool over here just to drag up from the bottom, get rid of the bits that we don't want. And I think just into there looks pretty good. We can adjust it a little bit with this slider. And I think I'm going to leave it about, about there. Okay, so I've got my foreground set out and on that foreground I'm going to add an exposure and then just darken that down a little bit. And I'm also going to do the same to my forest, add an exposure and then darken the forest down quite a bit as well. And on the forest I'm going to use my live filters and add a Gaussian blur. Make sure when you're using your Gaussian blur that you click on preserve alpha otherwise you lose your edges on that photo so let's click on preserve alpha and then they just blur the background a little bit got it about 13.3 pixels and i'm happy with that let's set the scene a little bit more and let's add a little bit of ground fire and on this one we'll need to change the blend mode to screen and again i'm just going to make my picture a little bit smaller and we'll drag out this ground fire all the way up and what I'll do again is add a mask to that and then come back to my gradient tool and then just drag up again and I'm happy with that where it is and on that ground fire what I'm going to do is come up to a range and flip horizontal so I've got most of it on this side okay so the next picture that I'm going to turn on is my night and my dragon so let's turn on both of those and the night was originally a black and white photo and I've also um, changed the way the shield looks as well so if anyone is interested in how I did the coloring of the night drop me a comment below and also you can see in my swatches I've got these colors here which are the night's colors that I use to recolor the night and I'll provide that file in the buy me a coffee site you can import these colors into your own swatches or create your own if you like but yeah drop me a comment below if you're interested on how I did the recolor of the night and move the shield so let's turn that one off for now so the next thing we'll bring in is our dragon fire and also our shield flames and we'll just drop them in there you need to just move them a little bit so let's highlight both of those and let's just move those up maybe stretch them out a little bit you might have to on this one grab our mesh warp tool and let's just reposition that. And we'll do the same up here with the fire coming out of the dragon's mouth. Click on done, click on our shield flames, and then let's just move them into place. Just a matter of just moving everything where you need it. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Happy with that. On our dragon fire, I will add a mask with my brush. I'll turn my flow down to about 25%. Make sure I'm on a soft brush. Get our layers colors back to black and white. Make my brush a little bit bigger. And I might just brush that in so it looks like it's coming out of the dragon's mouth there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's add an exposure to the dragon. And then darken that dragon down quite a bit as well. Out there looks pretty good. Let's add an exposure to our night as well while we're here and darken our night down quite a bit as well. It's looking pretty good. While we've got our night here, what I'll do is make a copy. That second layer, I'll just rasterize it just to bring it all into one so we don't have to worry about the assets on there. We'll hit our layer effects and come to color overlay. And on the color overlay, we'll grab our perspective tool and we'll move this out of the way and we'll just bring that down 
to the ground here. Move that one in a little bit and that looks pretty good. So we'll just click off that on that layer. With the shadow, I'll just drop the opacity a little bit and that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's add some color to our dragon. Let's click on our dragon. We're going to add a new pixel layer. I'm going to change that pixel layer to color and then put that onto the dragon. I'm going to drag it down and to the right just so you can see it highlight, not just the thumbnail and not just the solid line, but so we've got it highlighted. Come onto that layer. Got our blend mode changed to color. Come up to our brush, flow at 50%. And let's add some color, some sort of fiery red orangey color. Let's add that to our dragon. What we can do on our exposure of our dragon, we can, we still got our brush and we're gonna go back to the default colors and then just paint in black and add some of those highlights our brush a little bit smaller, maybe dropping the flow a little bit to 25 and just add some of those highlights in there. That looks pretty good. On the dragon pixel layer there, I'm going to add a bit of red to his eye. Let's do the same for our knight now as well. So on our knight, let's collapse those on our knight. Again, we'll add that pixel layer down onto our night, change the blend mode to color. Got our brush, we're down on 25%. Bring our brush up. Let's get back to that orange color because I think our night would be pretty hot by now. You've gone too far, you can just hit X on your keyboard, go back to white, and just take a bit away. And then while we're on the night's exposure, we'll do the same with getting those colors back. And then we'll add some of those really light highlights in there. Okay, we've still got another picture to add. So we'll come back to the night in a minute. We'll turn on these embers. And let's get the embers above the night or just behind the night. So let's get the embers behind the night and I'm going to stretch them over the whole photo here. Just like that. We'll add a mask and we'll come back to our gradient tool. This time we'll come back this way. About there I think looks good. Just have a play around with it. I think about there looks good. So we'll come back on maybe we're our night, maybe a little bit more of those highlights. Maybe on the pixel layer, back to the orange color. Let's get a little bit more orange in there. Especially from behind now, because we've got some of those embers behind. Back on to our exposure. Get some of that light in there. Okay, let's click off that. Might turn our shadow up a little bit on that opacity. About there, I think, looking pretty good. Okay, let's put all those layers together. Layer, merge visible up the top. Let's go up here to our tone mapping. Get some detail into this composite. You can also use the develop persona for this as well. Let's bring down the tone compression a little bit. Let's bring down the exposure. Bringing up the vibrance. Bringing up that little detail and then on the curves. Just like to add that S curve in at the last. About like that. Let's hit apply. And there we go, everybody. That is my composite tutorial for this week, the knight and the dragon. I hope you did enjoy the tutorial. As I said, if anyone is interested in how I colored the knight and repositioned the shield, give me a comment below. Maybe I can do a quick video on recoloring the knight. 
also as I said you can grab the Knights colors I'll provide that file on the buy me a coffee site absolutely free you can import that into your own swatches I'll also have all the photos that I can make available to you listed below in the description and any photo that I can provide you already cut out I'll also have on the buy me a coffee site that link will be in the description below but if you have enjoyed the tutorial please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel and until next time I'll say to you stay well stay safe and I'll see you in the next video